What's up, my internet besties? It's your favorite bestie. She is Kay. Today, I'm back here with a brand new video, and as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a girl talk video. So, first of all, I just want to say I must love y'all so much because, okay, before I even get into that, let me show you guys what we're eating on today. So, today we're gonna be eating on some Chipotle, some Chipotle, this is Chipotle bag right here. Well, I just got delivered like just now. And as I was eating my hot fries, in the meantime, I'm like, I can do my girl talk video like right now instead of like watching sisters because I was watching sisters. So I'm like, I can really eat my Chipotle and do my girl talk video. Love y'all so much that I'm going to offer up my sister time while I eat my Chipotle with y'all. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into the video. I did go on Pinterest and try to find some stuff to talk about. So let me open up my Chipotle. I'm on my van, so that's why y'all gonna be bouncing and stuff. So just ignore it. Please don't piss me off. Please don't piss me off. Where is the... <sighs> y'all, hold on while I go grab me a fucking fork. Because these people just piss me off. Like, why would you deliver Chipotle? No one napkins, no forks, or nothing like what? This is what we eating on. So let me do a thumbnail. I got some water on the side, so I'm gonna just eat some. I mean, I'm gonna just drink some water. So let me do my first bite with you guys, cause I don't know how to eat and talk at the same time. So we gonna we gonna try to see how this works. Oh my god, I should have said extra sour cream. Yeah, I've been craving Chipotle so bad like recently. Hmm. And it hits too, so I really wish I should have asked for sour cream because this shit finna be gone. Like, y'all know how sour cream dries up, so. First on the docket, <laughs> first topic that we're gonna talk about to love, your, love yourself. Honestly, y'all, that topic, I kind of struggle with that topic. Well, I would say I used to struggle with that topic. Now, it's like my confidence is not like really high. How people think it is something not really hot like how people think it is like like oh she's a pretty girl her confidence is like here she's bougie she's a diddy all of that stuff but how to love yourself so i recently just started loving myself and i would say i'm just starting to love myself again i can say so you need to take time out your day or take time out your day and do something for yourself if you the type of person that always give 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 other people's things and nobody do the same thing for you you gotta take the time out your day and give yourself or just take a day to yourself and just spend it on yourself it don't really necessarily have to be like spending money like your money but honestly spending money on yourself that makes me feel good like that makes me feel good like oh like when i went to ulta and I had when I had got me a few little things. Mm. Yeah, like spending a day to yourself, loving on yourself. When I say loving on yourself, like you actually spending a day, about like a day on you. Start off, go, go get brunch, start off with brunch then after that go shop go look around go go catch a movie by yourself lunch go grab some lunch by yourself it don't matter if you get something like if you purchase anything baby if you window shop and do that you feel me go get your toes done go get your nails done make yourself feel like you know you that girl mentally you just gotta always think like you're pretty you always gotta build yourself up when you when you feeling down i don't really know how to explain so how to stop being insecure? How to stop being insecure? And that's one thing I struggle with, to be honest with you. Like I said, that shit takes time. Like that shit don't happen overnight. That shit really do take time. And let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. So with me, let me tell you what happened. What what happened in order for me to stop being insecure and for me to love myself and build my confidence up. Let me tell you what it took for me after I eat this food right quick y'all i had to get my heart broke the worst way me i consider the worst way but for others it might not be as bad because like everybody get cheated on everybody get cheated on like bad my shit probably wasn't bad but to me it was 
I don't want to talk about it because honestly, that's like a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother video. Like after that breakup, that shit really hurting me so bad. I was depressed. I tried to get over it like in just a week or two. I had to go to therapy, counseling, like I was disconnected from the world. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And in that place, I was just thinking to myself, like, look where it had got me. Like, look where it had got me. So I promised to myself that when I get back to the world, I was gonna focus on me. I was gonna love on me. I was gonna build my confidence up in that's exactly what I did. So that summer, was it that summer? So, okay, so after that, I went to therapy and stuff. And then that's when after that, I had went and got into another relationship. So that promise that I made to myself, I broke it in a way, but then again, not really, because I said I was gonna focus on me, get my, my self-esteem back up and everything. Then I got cheated on again. Like y'all, I could not catch a break. Like. I could not catch a break at all. Last time I got cheated on again, that man, he broke me down. Like that man, I was like, that man, that man broke me down because it's like people don't understand. Like when you know that saying as a little girl or as a little kid, they say six stones may break my bones, but words never hurt me. And don't believe that shit because words do hurt and what he said to me that shit hurt me like it made me feel less than it made me feel like i wasn't good enough it made me feel like she had something better than what i had and i'm just like am i not doing enough like why do i keep getting cheated on constantly constantly like at this time this was my third time getting cheated on like back to back back to back if you never watch my story tell me about how i got cheated on go watch then i meant to do another story time about how i got cheated on before i got cheated on that time that i got cheated on i'm gonna do a story time and i made that story time too when that confidence that i kind of built that self-esteem that i kind of built it went completely it went completely down again like completely down again so that whole summer after school ended i had spent that whole summer yes i was talking to folks but nothing major but i spent that whole summer gaining my confidence back up baby i was getting my nails done i was getting my toes done i had lashes like i would always go to the beach bar and get lashes i would always do my hair always be at the beach bar start buying hair doing my hair real good real nice i was um ordering clothes off of Shein. if you watch my channel back then then you seen that then you seen that i was i had fucking three three huge Shein try on hauls. So I spent that whole summer just focusing on me, making myself happy, being happy with myself, being happy within myself, everything like that. Like I was, my confidence level was like right here. That shit shoot up to like right here. Like bitch, I was like right here. My advice to anybody that's watching this video right now, you feeling low, if you insecure, you're not confident in yourself, what you need to do, like I said, take time out your day. Take a month. I say take a month. Summer was like three months. I took three months, focus on myself. I will always have myself together. Take some time on yourself. Spend some time with yourself. Why should you never post your mom? I mean, ooh. Why should you never post your man on social media? I hate how things has been like a trend nowadays. Me see me, I post my man. Now, because like I I was talking to two people, so I never really posted him. Well, I never posted him at all. I never, nobody never knew that I was talking to nobody. I didn't want nobody to know. <laughs> Listen, when you, I don't know. Like when you in love, you gonna post your man. Your man in love, he gonna post you. But I will post my man. I went post my man like every fucking day. Every other day, like probably like every once to the blue moon. So that way I can just put it back in your face. Oh yeah, bitch, I got a man. Oh yeah, motherfuckers, I got a man. Get out of my DM. Me, I, I post my man like every now and then, but every fucking day, I won't do. Like I said, I don't know why people be like normalized and starting stuff in the generation. Like you're not supposed to like, show off your partner baby i'm gonna show off my man like if i had a man i would show off my man how to how to let go of toxic people family included now this right here 
I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all how I get rid of toxic people, but exclude the family. With toxic people, it's just like, you have to realize that they toxic. Like, if you know somebody toxic and you see that shit, get rid of them. Like, like I said, this generation, they normalize a lot of stuff and I hate that. I hate that for us because why do everybody think that toxic is cute and toxic is good? Like, no, toxic is not cute. Like, toxic is not cute at all. Toxic can come in different forms like abusiveness. It can come in mental abuse. It can come in, in different sorts of things. So I don't understand why people think that shit is cute when it's not. But toxic people, you have three three times because i'd rather protect my peace and fuck with that shit i don't like that shit i don't like how this generation normalized that like nah that's why i say like baby i should have been born i should have been born in 1988 i say the only thing i really love is like aggressive niggas like i love my niggas to be aggressive like my nigga gotta be like aggressive not like aggressive like oh like domestic violence like nah i'm talking about aggressive part as like me being submissive him being alpha like he gotta be an alpha nigga like if i fuck with you and i really do fuck with you and i'm being submissive like i'm listening to what the fuck you tell me to do then you got me you got me now i'm in love we in love you feel me but i love me aggressive alpha nigga that's like in control because i don't want to seem like i'm toxic after i just told y'all i'm toxic and like cute but i'm not saying it like in a domestic way oh child it's so crazy because i had that what the fuck i had that how to stay away and be drama free how to be drama free don't surround yourself with drama people you can tell when somebody is like nothing but drama 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 don't surround yourself with that type of people I don't surround myself around drama and female. If you gotta talk about people all the fucking time, like, okay, don't get me wrong, because I love to gossip. I love to gossip. Like, baby, did you just hear about JT and Uzi? I love to gossip, but far as like drama, 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 no. I want friends that's like, you know, that's on what I'm on, like very mature, you know, still like to have fun. Like you can go out to brunch, you can go shopping, you know, she could probably come over, spend some time or whatever. We could just be on our phone, scrolling on TikTok. We don't have to talk or we can be just be talking, watching movies. And then like females, like, you know, we, we talk about goals. Like we actually really have goals. Like I want friends that actually have goals that wants to be something in life that don't want to be shaking ass every Friday or Saturday and Sunday or outside and smelling like outside. Like, no, I don't want that. Like I want my friend, she, I want a boss ass friend. I want a boss ass friend who's on her shit. Just like how I am, who got goals, who wants to be successful in life, who got businesses gotta have businesses like that i know that kind of sound picky but no nah, because nowadays people got business i don't care if you got a hair business the lash business the fucking wax business bitch you gotta have a business okay what's something you got away with as a child and your parents still don't know about bitch i'm taking that shit to the grave <laughs> Oh my god, I'm taking that shit to the grave, baby. I feel like Aries, with some Aries, we keep shit, we keep shit, like, to myself. Like, we will take shit to the grave. We won't tell nobody. Like, it might be embarrassing as fuck, and we won't tell nobody. Like, I just feel like we tell people stuff. Like, if we do tell people stuff, it's, it's, we tell people, like, when it happened, like, three years ago. Like, I'm gonna just end this video out right here because I'm about to my sisters and eat my chipotle that's getting cold and they ain't got no more and they ain't really got no sour cream on it but we gonna set that shit up because I ain't paid $21 for nothing. But anyways, until next video, your guys out this thing. Bye.